we all love sugar. Whether we have a sweet tooth or not is not a question. Sugar activates the pleasure centers in our brain. And yet, sugar overconsumption underlies a metabolic syndrome, promoting obesity, diabetes, fatty liver disease, cancers. On the other hand, sugar is one of the least sustainable crops. It uses a lot of water, a lot of pesticides, transportation of 180 million tons of sugar, huge carbon footprint. We need to solve it. We need to make something which is much, much better. We are inspired by nature in two different directions. On one hand, along the equatorial belt, there are hypersweet proteins. Monellin is a hypersweet protein, which in nature is around 2,000 times sweeter than sugar. But monellin in 45 degrees, it denatures. Just like boiling an egg, it loses functionality. From the other side, we are inspired by life in extreme places, extremophiles. There is life in crazy places. There is life in the Dead Sea, in hot springs, deep in the ocean, in acidic swamps. In all of these places, there is life, and where there is life, there are proteins. And the question is, how do you bridge the gap between the amazing functionalities found in nature and the harsh environments, the protein hell of the mass food market. A protein is a necklace of pearls, and we can change, mix and match the sequence of the protein. It is still the same pearls. We just have a new arrangement of them. So what we do is we build a new protein that on one hand is inspired by life in extreme conditions and on the other hand is inspired by monellin. We do that by AICPD, Computational Protein Design, the ProCube platform. So before this loop was longer and less rigid and we made it shorter and more rigid, which makes the whole protein more stable. Then we grow the protein, we biomanufacture it using yeast, just like you do in a brewery. We harvest the protein to get 100% pure protein. And last, our protease food technology incorporates the protein to replace up to 70% of the sugar without compromising taste. People's palates vary because uh, it depends on how many taste buds each person has on their tongue. Uh, people who have a lot of taste buds are probably super tasters, and it is genetics. My name is Inbar Zucker. I'm the head of sensory evaluation and the food technologist at Amai Proteins. Good afternoon, everybody. Today we have uh, six sessions. This is the first tray, and then you have another tray. Around 5% of the population are super tasters. They are very important to Amai because there's no substitute to the human tongue. We screened a lot of people and we take only those who have very high sensory sensitivity. The role is to do objective measurements like measuring the sweetness intensity and the sensory profile of the products that we develop. Swilling is 100% protein. At the end, we have a powder which is very potent, 3,000 times sweeter than sugar. So one kilogram of our powder replaces 3,000 kilograms of sugar. We need to understand old school agriculture cannot sustain any longer. The future is now. We need to produce new materials. This is what we're doing with Swilin, producing it with yeast in a brewery which we can set anywhere in the world to make the new generation of sweeteners. Mm -hmm.